पढ़ सक देन आई डिड व्हाट्स अ क्लोज सेट एंड देन दम सम यूनियन इंटरसेक्शन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ओपन एंड क्लोज सेट्स आफ्टर दैट सो बेसिकली वी हैव गॉट टू सो after we define open and closed set we have got two important properties that countable union of uh, open sets is open and uh, so countable hmm. intersection of closed sets is closed and oh, finite is that true okay okay so i'll stop you till there and then Sorry? firstly uh, okay no no uh, firstly uh, because you have said a lot of things so far uh, what is an open set okay so an open set so for example uh, let's let's say we have a set x all right let's say we have a set x and okay. we also have a set s so i am saying that set s is a uh, or i would say relatively open we can say but uh, i'll not go into that right now mm-hmm. i can say that if set s is open if for each x belonging to set s wait s uh, is in x a, yeah so x belongs to s no s belongs to x no. when yeah, yeah yeah s okay i won't say s belongs to s say seeing s belongs s, to s, s is wrong s, s is contained s in s. yes yeah. so and so it is uh, what can i say it is com, uh, it is uh, uh, open if for each uh, x in s There, there exists an uh, neighborhood. Uh, there exists a neighborhood of X such that, let's say, a neighborhood B X comma R, whatever, uh, such that that neighborhood is a subset of S, is contained in S. So now you have now we have more things to define. So first of all, uh, what is a neighborhood? what is this okay so a uh, neighborhood is basically i would say that let's define b r uh, b x of r like that mm-hmm. so yes. that thing is basically the set of all such points uh y set of all such points y such that uh says that uh, the distance between i'm just saying arbitrary distance or right? like i haven't uh, yeah. specified any metric so the distance between x comma mm-hmm. y is less than r for all y for all y to, uh, like, yeah this is the definition huh is so this is a complete definition yeah so okay so then my question is what is d what is what do you mean by distance actually uh, this is a bit incomplete i'll huh. tell you why because uh, while while considering the neighborhood for example we took that s is contained in some set x right so mm-hmm. so here b x of r i'll say that it's all uh, it's the set of all such points y such so that y belongs to x hmm Okay. only then it will be compa- open relative to x right it should be open relative to something because only saying uh, open is a bit un- uh, not rigorous right that's okay makes sense uh, even without the term relative it's fine to say that where y is coming from what is the yeah, universe exactly. Exactly. now you have to now you have to define distance what do you mean by distance so distance is basically a function from i would say uh, x cross x so x2 to i would say r plus or uh, r plus union uh, 0 okay with the usual uh, properties of with the it. usual properties triangle inequality then uh, symmetric and uh, obviously the existence of zero element hmm in the sense that yeah that is two right. if the distance is zero then they are the same points all right so with all this the definition of open set is now complete logically it is yeah. come is okay okay so then then so close set now i'm not asking you the definition okay 
Okay. Then now, now after I'll ask you the question. Uh, you said about countable union of open sets is open. <clears throat> yes. So, do you know the proof? Yes. Well, I mean, uh, yes, obviously, because I don't do any proof without understanding, right? First, I try them as a problem, and mm -hmm. could do this as a problem. Yeah. Yes. So then, so then, tell us countable union. So okay, Just each SI is going. open. So. SI in X are open and we want to say that this is also open. So why is this true? Just uh, like let me think for one minute because I mm -hmm. don't have the proof memory. Yes, yes, to... yes. Like, uh, isn't this obvious? Because every mm -hmm. like uh, every set SI is open. So mm -hmm. uh, when so for example, if we choose let's say a T or an X belonging to capital S, okay. So mm -hmm. this implies that 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 X should also belong to some SQ. Okay, SI. Yes. Oh, so, okay. So some SI, and now. As SI is an uh, open, uh, as SI is an open set, so there will exist a neighborhood of X which will be contained in SI. Right. But then uh, SI is contained in uh, this countable uh, union of SIs. Okay. Right. And so we get that this neighborhood is also contained in this right. thing. So, so it so is open. Point, an interior point and hence this. Right. Is an yeah. And in fact, you see that there is no role of countable here. Right. No. It could be any collection of open sets. Yeah. It infinite. could count. Countable is already infinite, but any collection. So can you give can you, because you know what does it mean to say any collection? Can you give me an example of a uncount like a collection of open sets which is not countable? So for example, what I could do is for every real number, I could just take a so for every real number. So now this everything is an R I am giving. For every real number, I can just take this open set. And take the union, right? This is a union of yes. how many open sets? Uncountably many open sets because you know R is not countable. Yes. Yeah. So what you have said does not require countability. It is true for any. Yeah, because yeah, maybe perhaps in some book it was like mentioned it that way, or I don't. Yeah. So this is. Okay. So what was the other statement you said? Did you say something about intersection or? Yeah. So what's, the, what's I, that? Which one? So you said something about intersections. Was it intersection? Yeah, yeah. Of... I said about 
uh, that that uh, in, in so intersections of so infinite intersections of uh, so arbitrary intersection of closed sets is also closed. Oh, okay. All right. So we we don't need to prove it now. It's fine because you have already yeah. So this is also any any okay. any other statements along these lines. Mm, yeah. So finite uh, union of closed sets is uh closed. Mm. Because there you can use the this thing min max strip uh min max trick right. Uh, because you have got a finite set, so you can always uh, pick the minimum most neighborhood or something like that. So, so your definition of closed set is uh, complement of open set. Yeah, you yeah that one can work or my like all the limit points of that set are contained in that set. Okay, so from there you are saying, yeah, so it's fine. It's... Way, because one, uh, in Rudin, I studied in that way, but now reading Apostle, I just say that it's complement is okay. Whatever, I'm accustomed to both of them. Yes, because both the definitions give you the same collection of are equivalent. Right. So this is fine. And uh, what about infinite union of closed sets? We cannot say anything. So, okay, so... Uh, Okay, what do you mean by we cannot say anything? Infinite union of closed sets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, mm -hmm. let's take uh, this thing. Uh, minus x comma x. Closed interval minus x comma x. Mm -hmm. And union uh, x belongs to R. Okay, let, let's say countable union for now. Okay. Can you give an example? I don't have a problem with taking and countable in, but for a certain... Let's take natural numbers, right? Oh. Maybe it will give you the same set in the end, right? Like what you were saying and what I'm saying, they will give the same union. Union will be the same in the end. Like that x x minus x x that will also give you r. This will also give you r. So then, what yeah. is your point? This is still closed. R is closed. So here the answer is yes. yes. But in let's say, let's take that. Okay, so minus n comma n closed interval is not closed in R2, right? It's not closed in R2. Okay. Is it, uh, closed, is it closed? No, no, no. I don't know. You tell me. Is it closed in R2? Is... It should be now. It is closed. Maybe yeah, because I, I am thinking about. So I think it is closed because, like, I so in, right now I am trying to think that is there any limit point of minus n comma n, which is not in minus n comma, but yeah, is in R two. Yeah, but it is not there. That's clear. Because, right. Another reasoning which uh, maybe is you can try, you can 
think of this reasoning is that minus n comma n it was closed in r right but then you know that this is closed in r2 well maybe that is equally hard or equally easy here i'm trying to say the relative closeness right if x is closed yeah. in y and y is closed in z then x is closed in z that Mm -hmm. So from that, maybe a slightly more general reasoning also, it follows. No, no, it's okay because I have done this thing. Right. That this is like transitive, right? Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit more elegant. So it may help you in more complicated situations. Right? So you may not yes. be, so I'm saying that it may not be so easy to see, like suppose you are doing this. Suppose, uh, my point is that suppose you have this X in Z and the question is, is it closed? And maybe it's difficult to see because Z is maybe too big or whatever, right? Or X is not very well defined with respect to Z. But if you can find an intermediate space, which is closed in Z, and then maybe it's easier to see that Y is closed, X is closed in that, then your job becomes easy. Then you then you are, yeah. so that may be useful, a useful lemma. Yeah. <clears throat> so then what? So then this example again does not work. Because again, then R is closed relative to R. Yeah. So you don't get so far. But uh, this I mean, answer should certainly be no, because uh, you know that it is not true. Otherwise, there is no theorem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so you can make something, uh, maybe like what you're telling is already almost there. But suppose I make this uh, 0, 1, uh, maybe something like this. Then can you give me some intervals? Now, can you pick some intervals? <clears throat> so okay, that so you... minus one over n comma one over n. Yeah, minus one over n. No. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, zero one comma over. one over. Zero comma no no don't no then zero will always be there. You don't want zero to be there. You can take. I mean, I understand. It's very easy. You will get it. It's just a matter of yeah. This will give you zero comma one. Right. Now, I want to say that in by and this is a very special property. This this will uh, <clears throat> no, this will happen in any metric space. Yeah, this is the thing that by taking finite union of closed sets, you get closed sets. Obviously, closed sets may also be open sets. I'm not saying no. Okay, but that's a different thing. But finite union of closed sets is closed sets. As we saw that when you take countable union, like you don't even have to take, you don't, you don't even have to go to uncountable. Even if you just take countable union of closed sets, you get uh, sets which are not closed. You get open sets, let's say, right? And now the question is, um, can you get any open set using countable union of closed sets? <clears throat> right. You see, so can we get any open set? And it's not, it is not a, it's, a, it's actually a trivial question if you, once you see it. Can we get any open set in this way? <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Already you are getting zero comma one. <clears throat> so the answer should be yes, kind of. I'm just like 
trying to like find some kind of construction about given an open set can we construct it out of a countable uh, union of closed yeah. sets yes yeah given o an open set So, for open intervals, the problem is solved, right? We have hmm. already done it. But then open sets are countable union, are union of open intervals. That but, is again by definition, right? That is in just R1, right? No, no, no. Because what is an open set? An open set is something for any point you can find. A, oh, okay, okay. Like that you're saying, sorry. <clears throat> okay. well, you are defining what is an interval I am asking <laughs> right right yeah right. maybe you can define a KSL but even that is in RN we are dealing you said dealing in general matrix so. matrix spaces right but okay let me say one thing here is that uh, if if O is in R then the problem is solved right yeah yi and each of them you can write as a countable union of closed sets so countable union of countable units <clears throat> so when you go to general metric space what should be the goal well your goal should be to just uh, write any ball using closed sets any ball right. using yeah yeah yeah, exactly. that, yeah yeah so we will assume that o is a ball <clears throat> or am i saying something no, no, no. correct because yeah obviously because see every point has a ball which is contained in that open set right every point in the open set has a ball which is contained in that set now obviously the union of all such balls will become uh, the set itself okay right so x in o b some r it will depend on x uh, maybe i'll write rx x yeah, we know this. So your task is to write the balls using uh, closed sets. Is it is it correct? Can we write any? Uh, yeah, but let, let me uh, like how do we? <clears throat> so all is Yeah, so we have got a theorem, right? Uh, that any but any ball that is closed, right? No, ball is not closed. The ball is open. Ball is open. Or do you want to take closed balls? No, but Some... even that, what is the uh, like? There can exist a limit point outside that closed ball, right? Mm -hmm. No, but or then not. you take you take half the radius. 
then then is it okay uh, uh i didn't understand yeah so i am saying that given a point x you know that there is an open ball which yeah. is inside inside o but then if you take with certain radius r but if you take make the radius r by 2 and you take that ball so you have this this thing is in o but then you can take ball of radius half that is obviously in o and then you can prove that the closure of this ball or the closed ball right uh-huh. where you take equal to and the closure of that will be that that you can prove then you are done But that is close relative to what that is close relative to x right uh, okay because this this closure of a ball right if relative to x what is it it is just taking the so this is just uh, y such that uh, is less than less or than equal to this thing you can prove right that the closure of a ball meaning taking the limit points of a ball they are just the boundary of a ball of the ball in metric spaces yeah? mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. there is nothing to do so then we are done so like we can prove <clears throat> this by contradiction right so if there exists such a limit point outside this ball then uh, then around that point we draw a neighborhood and uh, an arbitrary neighborhood and that in that its intersection with this ball has to be non empty always if it is outside huh. yeah if it's outside you don't have like to go by contradiction because if yeah, it's outside then it has a certain distance and then you know this will have a certain distance which is you can you can prove it yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but but yeah you should you can you should write it out if yeah it will good okay then we are done right this is a wonderful result okay something easy but nice yeah so we can take these Julia, I am finding this like in uh, this kind of analysis. I am <clears throat> finding that whenever something finite thing is there, I always kind of want to use that a finite set has a maximum element and a or a minimum element, like and a minimum. Element. That is like so useful. Yes, yeah, it is. It is case. so useful that we want to extend it to infinite sets also, and that's why we have closed sets and compact sets. a closed set okay like a bounded closed set it will have its limit points yeah, yeah. bounded closed set yes so that is basically called as bolzano hash yeah that is a compact set more or less well more, one can say by definition of closed set uh, its limit points are in it but if it's bounded no. then yeah, it closed will... and bounded is uh, closed and bounded set is a compact set yeah yes. equivalent yes and a compact set in more or less in some sense has its maximum and minimums in it okay whatever that means for a set maximum minimum doesn't make sense so you could say like if you have a, if you have a continuous function from a compact set then it has its maximum and minimum yeah so if you define some <clears throat> property on, uh, on that set then that property will likely have a maximum and minimum or something yes yeah that's what i'm trying to say yeah if the property is a nice like uh, you know uh, yeah yeah if the, if, the, if the property respects the sequence convergence and so on or in any form if it's nice then when in rn uh, this entire bolzano weierstrass theorem in rn is dependent solely on the supremum existence of supremum and infimum yes like that is weakness problem yes yes and it is equivalent it is same is from uh, bolzano weierstrass you can actually prove the supremum existence also yeah. you can take that yeah you can try to prove it yeah. you uh, when you do these small small points in analysis you always like there are like foundation like uh, pillars like that completeness property is one pillar if that falls down then everything is gone yes and then r yeah then we don't get r yeah means for r that is the only thing that makes r different from other things right that it is complete that it is completion of a countable set right but but here but uh, is this um uh, are we doing something in uh, not incorrect but no because i used to always think that there is a uh, there is a bet like you see what i'm trying to say is that yeah we have been able to write this open set in terms of these closed sets 
but somehow the, it's the same so somehow the idea which i was trying to okay what i'm saying is that when we had this open set 0 comma 1 then we had this very nice sequence of closed sets right which is kind yeah. of pushing pushing out uh, for the general case we don't have such a nice description okay uh, because and there should be no but this is nice enough i, I don't see like this is also like because that is in r1 right that is in r1 mm -hmm. that's why so much. Yeah, but uh, even in RN, like something, let's let's but think this about. Is not it. even RN, right? RN, we can I can I guess we can have a like make a case cell or something like that. Huh? No, here also no. See, these are not really about cells, right? It's about it's about the. Uh, yeah. No. Okay, I'll present you a, a problem with this method. Slight issue. The issue one issue is that this is not countable. Right. So we have written it as a union of closed sets, but not a countable mm -hmm. union, not a countable right. union. And we want a countable union. So even if we don't mm -hmm. go by aesthetics, even if you go by the, like, the claim that can you do it with countable union, that is still because see, uh, I will tell you even that this is a useless proof. Why? Because uh, you can just write O as union of X in O X. <laughs> yeah. so this is quite useless now we are realizing okay so <laughs> so that's why you also realize that countable union is is really um, saying something more special than just uncountable union sometimes okay so we want a countable union so this will we are not happy with this we want something something like this and some close sets here If it's possible, if it's not possible, then then we will not be able to do. So the entire idea, our previous argument was that we uh, could write a ball as a union, right? We could write an open set as a union of balls. Yeah, that is. But we could also write a ball as a, uh, a union of closed sets. Yes. Yeah. Well, we did not really use that. We that sort of said... Argument. Uh, but our argument was that, but maybe our argument can be said in slightly different ways. What we said is that you can write it as a union of balls. And, but then we said that, no, you can replace each ball by a closed ball and still the union will remain the same. Yeah, yeah. So that was our argument. Okay. <clears throat> but as you can see, this argument is not good because we don't know if we can do this with countably many balls. Okay. Let's see, uh, so if we can prove, okay, if we can prove that uh, countable number of balls hmm, mm -hmm. make up an open set, uh, then I yeah. guess we can prove it can make. But okay, so let us think about this on the other side. There is still a problem that because when you make. Yeah, but when you make the radius half, will it still cover? <clears throat> because you're making the radius half, right? And you want to make okay. close. I'll, 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 yes. I'll uh, like, I'll, I'll consider closed balls. 
union of closed balls okay countable union of closed balls hmm. with radius r over m r over m and obviously n belongs to r over n n 